Hello, Van Randy here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elm Creek. We're currently working on high speed disc in here, field 56 and 57. Getting ready to plant this field here. Uh, we're going to be putting, let's see, let's actually double check this here, make sure I get this right. We're going to be putting wheat in this field here. Make sure I had canola. Yep, we got canola over on 30, 31, and 32 here. Uh, we're going to put wheat on this field here with the uh, plan, hopefully, to make bread or, well, yeah, flour, then bread, of course, here from the wheat that we'll be putting on this uh, field here. So, anyway, got the John Deere 9470RX working on that. I've got the 8R410 at the other end of the field here waiting to go, so we're going to get him uh, going here a minute as well. Uh, we'll probably just do a little planting ourselves here. We did the disc in here last episode, so uh, this episode we'll do a little planting. So, let's get the uh, GPS going here. Alt-C, Control-S. Uh, let's see. We want to do a, I believe this is going to be 90 degrees as well, right? Oh, start engine first, really? Okay. Oh, is it not showing the lines? No, it is too. Okay. There they are. And then we'll get an auto width on that. That looks like that should be pretty good. Turn on the planter. Already set it to wheat, by the way. Did that here before I started, or actually when I exited the game here last time, just to make sure. Wanted to make sure I had the right crop in there. And uh, by the way, when you do that, it was still, I think it was the month of August when I did that yet. And of course, it's like, whoa, whoa, you can't plant that. It's like, no, I'm not trying. I just want to make sure I have it set to the right one. So when we get to this episode here, we're ready to actually plant the right crop. Uh, of course, for those of you who've watched the channel for a while, you know, it's not the first time I've planted the wrong crop. Oops. Although with Seasons Mod, I mean, I guess it's, uh, depending on what you're trying to plant, it might be a little harder to plant the wrong crop, right? There might be some benefits to that. Uh, this episode as well, I'm going to promise you go uh, check on our animals here. Uh, just looking at it real quick here before I started recording. Everyone looks like maybe the cows could use some hay and straw. The horses could use some hay. The chickens, they're not out, but uh, probably wouldn't hurt to give them some uh, oats here as well. Or no, is it wheat? No, they need the wheat, right? Yeah, okay. Not oats. Uh, the horses need oats. Make sure we get all the right hops to the right uh, animals here. Oh, my. I don't typically, whenever I do a map of it, I don't typically do more than maybe like one or two animals at a time. Just that way I don't uh, get too confused as to who, what needs, what, where, how. I just stick with like one animal, that seems to be my uh, kind of my preference. But uh, we got chickens, horses, and cows, right? I think that's what we got. I wouldn't mind actually trying some sheep here as well, when, uh, just because we got these at the, what is the name of the factory? The spinnery or something like that? Uh, we can... Uh, Oil mill, nope, not that one. Grape, is it this one? Bakery, no, that's the bakery. Biogas, where is it here again? There is one where you take the wool to. Spinnery, there it is, yep. Yes, I thought it was called the spinnery. Wouldn't mind uh, seeing what's uh, what's involved with that. I thought that sounded kind of cool. I'm actually not even sure. I haven't taken the time to look. What products does the spinnery make here? I mean, most of the rest of them, I think, are pretty self-explanatory. Let's take a look. Not, ah, clothes, okay. That's what I was wondering. Fabric and clothes. That's what it is. Okay. Kind of assumed that's what it was, but I was 100% sure on that one. Ooh, that's going to be close. Oh, but we cleared it. Now with a planter cleared. Nope. Just barreling. There we go. Line back up with the GPS. A uh, feature that is uh, definitely missing from the base game, if you ask me that one. And uh, I would have to guess probably most console users are probably uh, thinking that as well. Of course, you'll get them for the PC players here. We got mods, Evan. We got GPS. So uh, you know, when it came to GPS, Evan, I was not, at least in my case, overly disappointed it didn't have GPS because again it's like well I know some mod author is going to come out with a GPS here so I don't have to worry about it but you know again when, when it comes to the console users out there unfortunately you don't have the option of a GPS here because again GPS I went and I think that's the case for all the GPS's in the game here at the moment all require third party scripting which uh, is prohibited by the console manufacturers and it's not necessarily even a uh, giant so for those who out there you know blaming giants it's not even giants fault they can't have gps it's actually more to my understanding the console manufacturers in particular playstation i guess 
Uh, sounds like, you know, again, I mean, if I understand this correctly, I don't follow the console stuff that closely, but if I understand it correctly, uh, sounds like uh, the Microsoft and the Xbox is a little more open to third-party stuff, whereas Sony's like, uh, close the door, slam it, lock it, and uh, deadbolt it, screw it closed, and no. Which, you know, again, I mean, it kind of makes sense, uh, you know, third-party uh, scripts and stuff like that. I mean, that's where you can start really having problems with the game. Back, you know, Farming Simulator 19, I, mean, I would say, you know, probably 90% of the crashes were due to third-party scripting, i.e. like force play and auto drive and stuff like that, right? Tip your mods like tractors, and we just ran out of something. We ran out of C, didn't we? Okay. Um, tractors, stuff like that. They don't usually cause the game to crash unless they're really badly done, which uh, <laughs> white 145, I think. Was it white 145? I believe that's what it was. Yes, anyone remember that tractor? That tractor was so bad when it caused my game to crash. And in fact, it was so bad, it actually caused my computer to crash. Never seen that before. I've seen the game crash plenty of times, but to actually cause the computer to go down with it? Wow. That mod author did some really good work. Okay, do we got any seed here? Seemed like we did, didn't we? Nope, that's all lime. That is all is that chickens. That is all chickens. More lime. Okay, nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, we need some seed then. Let's go grab some seed here a minute. Uh, big bag. Actually, you know what? Uh, the big bags are cheaper, right? Yeah, seeds 800. Seeds 900. So we're going to buy bags. Big bags, to be specific. Actually, that's big. Uh, there, there are pallets here, two of seeds. Right? Yeah, seeds. Nine. Oh, those are even more yet, everyone. Those are like the most. Oh, and actually, I guess. I mean, yeah, when it's more expensive, but technically you get a little bit more too. I don't know if that's really worth it though. Nine fifty for one thousand fifty, or nine hundred for a thousand, or eight hundred for a thousand. I mean, I think <laughs> the choice should be pretty obvious there, right? Yep. I'm not sure who would really want to go for, you know, the big pallets or the big totes there when you can get the big bags for cheaper. Just, uh, I don't know, makes sense to me. Okay, you're going to start filling? Yep, perfect. Oh, this is not going to hold that much seed. I needed, like, probably two of these. Wow, this does not hold much seed at all, does it? you think, uh, I mean, this big a seed, I'm going to hold more seed than that, but... Yeah, like, the big, what, the big air seeders, I mean, you can put, like, a whole truckload in some of those, and depending on what size seeder you have there, let's grab a tote of... No, I didn't want that one. thought I clicked the bags. I guess not. Grab a bag of fertilizer here, too. That's a thousand. I don't know if that's going to be enough or not. We'll find out. Actually, probably uh, probably should have bought like eight of those. <laughs> that would have been a better, wouldn't it? Uh, we're going to buy another one of those. Actually, maybe two more of those. Uh, let's do two. That should be... Oop, that's still not two yet. There we go. That should be pretty close. Pop that off on fertilizer here a moment. I know someone in the uh, comments here was uh, talking about this uh, particular cedar here. One of their uh, favorite uh, cedars. And it's been in the game since Farming Simulator. I think they said Farming Simulator 15. Uh, I could be wrong. I mean, it, it's probably actually been in the game longer than 15, hasn't it? It's probably actually been 13. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. I have to go look. But it seems like this cedar's been in the game since Farming Simulator 2013. Or maybe even longer. I'm not sure. But uh, I did mention in the uh, comment here... Not probably one of my more favorite cedars. I mean, I don't know why. Just, I've, I've never really cared much for this particular cedar. I don't know if it's the looks or the style, what it is. Of course, I mean, it's not uh, what I would consider to be an American-style cedar. I'm not aware I've ever seen a cedar like this in America that I know of. And actually, I don't know if I have any American-style cedars active. I know I have a couple. I just might not have them active here at the moment. Oh, I do. Yep, there we go. Okay, American-style cedars. I mean, John Deere 8350. Older, of course. A little bit newer, John Deere 1590 grain drill. These are probably the more common type cedars. And then, of course, you get into the bigger air cedars. That one is more of an American-style cedar. That, that's what you would see in America here.
you know, even when it comes to some of these uh, smaller ones, I mean, uh, you know, like that. You just do not see cedars like this in America here, typically. Uh, you are starting to see, I guess, some of the smaller ones now. I'm not sure how common they are, but you know, again, I mean, you just don't really see them usually. It's still more of the older style ones, such as that. I don't know if I get anything else. And then, of course, you get the big air cedars. At least around where I live, everyone, you don't typically see the big air cedar or the big or the I'm sorry, not the big, the smaller. No, see the bigger ones. I get this right, that one. You don't typically see the bigger air cedars, uh, wheat and uh, oats and uh, crops like that that you'd plant with those cedars. That one not super common around where I live. Mostly uh, soybeans and corn around here. And when it comes to uh, corn and beans, that one, most uh, farmers will plant them with their row crop planters nowadays. Get the one planter that can basically plant uh, both crops. Now you don't have to, you know, have two planters. So just, you know, one, one single row crop planter will do the job for both, essentially. And then, of course, for the farmer that will occasionally plant some wheat, then they'll just have a drill like that, a grain drill. Probably a little bit smaller, takes a little bit longer, but hey, it's old. Well, not necessarily that old. It's cheap. Let's see, where is, is the... Oh, there he is. He's over there. Okay. I say, he's not done already, is he? Nope. I think I did a headland all the way around the outside of the edge of this field, but I don't want to go through that headland ever because otherwise the high-speed disc is probably going to take it out, which we don't want that to happen. So yeah, we'll just uh, plant up there, and uh, we'll stop right here. And we'll just uh, sneak over to the other side here, plant up that side as well. A nice little headland there. Thought I put enough headland on the last time around. Was it the plow? But yeah, looking at the field, I mean, apparently I missed a few spots with the plow here. I'm noticing I can see that when we're planting here as well. A couple spots just, I don't know, got missed apparently. And I thought I went through and uh, cleaned them up, but guess not. Whoops. Hold on, tractor. We can go. There we go. I suppose some repair probably would help, wouldn't it? I'm not sure if that's the tractor or the planter that's in dire need of repair. If we get to the end of it, maybe we'll hop out and check that out here in a minute, which one actually needs repair. There is a mod, of course, out there that will show you the repair of the individual pieces of equipment you're attached to. And it's still unfortunate, in my opinion, I mean, that uh, Giants hasn't like included a way to do that in the game here, other than going to the menu. I mean, yeah, of course, I mean, you can go to the menu and find it listed there. Which a lot of times is what I do for the combine, by the way. Again, making sure we have our combine repaired, because if the combine's not repaired, oh boy. We are losing crops quickly. Well, I think we got a headland here. We can uh, just hire a worker on this job. We'll hop out here real quick a minute, though. Double check the uh, repair on this. Probably both the tractor and the planter, if I had a guess. So, yeah, tractor definitely needs it. 20,000, boom. 20,000 right there. Oh, I'm telling you, folks, the repair on the equipment in this game, it's, uh... No, oh, planter's actually not too bad. We'll, we'll throw some repair on it anyway, though. But, yeah, repair in this game element is expensive. Very, very expensive. Which, you know, I'm not going to say is not realistic, because uh, it definitely, it's expensive in real life too, everyone, so. Not necessarily complaining about it, I'm just saying it's, it's expensive. And let's see, where is the equipment list? That is, there it is. That one right there. So, yep, there, of course, we can go look at this one and see. Well, the 9470RX could use some repair, couldn't it? I'm not sure. So can the 7R, apparently. And the 9470R, apparently just all my tractors. A 7810, yep, all my tractors are just like in bad shape, aren't they? Pretty much. Mack truck. Uh, I haven't bothered repairing the Mack truck on because, I mean, <laughs> what's, 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 I mean, it can't do anything, I don't think, can it? Other than maybe drive a little slower down the road, which, meh, oh well. Out of curiosity, any good sales going on here? No, definitely not. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good sale, 54% off that tractor, but nope, don't want that tractor. I believe that's the electric one, right? 
Pretty sure that's an electric one. It says it has def, so no, that must not be electric one. Up to 104 horsepower. 114 horsepower. Actually, not too bad. Headland management. I haven't actually tried the headland management yet. I should really give that a try here sometime. But uh, yeah, interesting uh, track. Oh, the the uh, hydraulics are actually up there, aren't they? Okay. And more hydraulics there. Wow, that's a lot of hydraulic attachments. My goodness, some in the back. Bunch there, bunch there. Whoa, okay. Front three point. Uh, this is uh, what? Uh, like for grapes and olives, stuff like that, I believe. Grove management. That's the purpose of that tractor. But yeah, we see a good sale on a small tractor sometime. I might have to uh, jump on it. Okay, let's go uh, take care of the animals here. Let's see what's here. We'll just uh, start with the first ones here. Chickens. Okay, chickens need food. 78, 10, you're up. And this is why I was saying that when I wouldn't mind having another smaller tractor. Just that uh, when it comes to jobs like this, the 78, 10 is just like the go-to tractor here. Uh, 7R would probably be pretty good too. Uh, I just don't use the 7R maybe quite as often because it has the duels on it, which I guess technically I mean, would be easy to take off, wouldn't they? That's interesting. Gives me the option to unload, but we're not actually attached. I was like, wait, what's, what's going on here? How come I'm not seeing what's in the trailer? Yeah, it's because we're not actually attached. That's interesting. Hey, and uh, make note of it. We're actually feeding the chickens before they ran out of food this time. We're getting better at this. Must be the other one. Huh? Shouldn't the feed be going up? here I confused now oh wrong chicken that's okay there we go that one's going up like okay that's right there's two uh like in two chicken coops nope I was clicking on the same chicken in the same coop oh well how to get you to help nowadays right I think there's a little bit in this back one yet as well yeah if there is I can't tell And verdict is, yes there is. There's uh, 38 liters in the back uh, gravity wagon. Uh, hardly worth it. We'll go ahead and unload it here. Yeah, that didn't take long. I knew it went. Okay, and these chickens should need just a little bit more yet. Yeah, a couple more thousand liters. We'll go down to the uh, shop here. We'll pick up some more wheat here for the chickens a minute. I think there's actually some there, wasn't there? We'll probably go ahead and just uh, top these off, though, by a couple more uh, totes. Well, maybe... Not sure with what money we're going to buy those with. I just happened to look up at the money here, everyone. Yeah, the money situation's looking a little tight. I should double check here. You know, I think I do have some in storage, don't I? Uh, yeah, not a lot, but we do have some in storage. Okay, almost to the shop here. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, buy a couple of totes here a minute. So big bags, we want wheat. And I think that was the cheapest way to buy this, wasn't it? We'll get, uh, yeah, we got a couple sets of those, yep. Okay, looks like that's about all we're gonna afford there for now. Uh, that'll be good for starters. And yeah, those other ones were oats as well, I think, right? Or keep getting oats, that one. Uh, wheat as well. Double check here a minute. Yes, those are also uh, chicken. Okay, won't bother uh, bore any folks with the uh, details of filling this up. I'll probably take care of that off uh, camera here. Let's move on to the next ones here. So the chickens, mostly taken care of. Uh, cows. Actually, let's skip the cows. Let's go to the horses here, because horses I can take care of probably really quick. Yeah, they need some hay. Oh, they could actually use some oats here, too. Although, 
They are almost... Almost, yeah, 95%. So I might hold off on oats here just a little bit. We'll grab some uh, hay here, though, for a minute. We can put that in uh, real quick here a minute. Oh, last bale. Okay. There we go, horses. Enjoy. Hey, okay, that bumps that up here a little bit at least. Uh, daily riding, cleanliness. I'm not sure why the cleanliness... Is, uh, does the... Hired or the horse helper mod not clean the animals? I'm not sure how that works. I guess not. Go through and uh, like clean them all. Of course, they're all walking around, so it's kind of hard to tell which one I have and haven't cleaned yet. I clean you? No, nope, says I didn't. Okay. You? Apparently, you're good. You're good. How about you? Yep, you're good. Just pretty much walk around. I'm going to make sure I don't have to clean any of the rest of them here. Looks like we're looking pretty good. Did I miss one somewhere? Nope. think I got them all. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Cleanliness 100%. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps going down a little bit, that one. That's just the, the mod doesn't completely clean the animals or don't know how that works. But anyway, that's taken care of. I'll have to keep an eye on that base food. Actually, you know what? Do I have... I, actually, you know what? I do have oats in storage, right? Yeah, I got quite a few oats. So, worst case, I mean, I could just give them a little bit of oats there, too, I suppose. Or we could just buy uh, buy a couple bags. That'd probably be cheaper, to be honest. Might just do that. You know what? Why don't we do that? We'll buy... Just buy, like, two bags here or something like that. Okay, back to the shop here. While those are filling up, let's go check the cows. So, the cows... I'm guessing I wonder the fact that this is not going up anymore probably means I need hay, silage, and straw. Actually, let's maybe just hop over there. Actually, you know what? I probably don't have anything to hop over there with, do I? Okay, where's the 7R? Yeah, we'll take the 7R here. Oh, stopped. Not enough money. Whoops. Eh, we'll fix that real quick there. There we go. Problem solved. Actually, I probably should keep an eye on that one because uh, if we buy some more hay and straw and silage and stuff like that, that's going to take some more money here as well. So far, I'm going to have to say cows are definitely not looking very uh, profitable here. Oh, yeah, we appear to actually have... We actually got plenty here, don't we? Uh, does it show... Yeah, it doesn't really show on this screen... Does it? Unless I'm missing this one. It doesn't actually tell me like what I have in here as far as hay and straw and silage. Yeah, we're actually looking pretty good. Hay we got 31,000. Silage we got 47. Straw we have 32. Oh, mineral feed. We could use some mineral feed. Okay. Straw is 14,000 liters. They could probably use a little bit of that. But yeah, we could use some mineral feed. Okay, so we'll go grab that then. No, I haven't, nope, doesn't look like I have any straw bales left. There are a couple up by the horses there. Um, you know what? Let's just grab the trailer. Let's do that. We'll head down to the shop there. We'll grab a couple of pallets of straw bales. There are actually just a couple of straw bales. And we'll grab a couple of pallets of mineral feed here as well. I don't think I actually had the uh, mineral feed that topped off, if I remember correctly. And now that we know where it goes. Okay, down to the shop we go here again. And while we're on the way down there, we can just uh, buy some straw bales. 9,000, huh? Okay. We'll just buy two stacks and that should be pretty good for starters. They're not going to need that much as far as bedding straw goes. And the rest we can just throw in the mixing portion of that barn there. I love Sam. That is quite a nice with that barn there when it comes to uh, taking care of the cows. You just put all your stuff in there and it uh, kind of does its thing, right? Oh, excellent. You're going to grab that hay bale too? Might as well while we're here. Yep. Okay. And can I turn off the auto load? Transport position, yes. Okay. 
filling you up. And while we're doing that, over, was it pallets? Where is the mineral feed here again? There it is, mineral feed. Oh, I can only buy one at a time. Well, that kind of sucks. Let's see, was that eight? Mm, not sure. Doesn't look like it. I was going for eight. I'm not sure if I got eight or not. I think we just throw these up on top of the bales. There we go. Kirk is going to be getting them up there, but I think we got this. Okay, that's just yeah, getting out of hand. We'll just move over. Fine, be that way. And we got, I uh, know we got two more. Here's that it. Hmm, I was way off from eight, wasn't I? Oh well. We'll buy two more here real quick once we get these up here. There we go. Up in that tractor. Okay, we are apparently far enough away. We cannot uh, refill again. Let's uh, turn this around here real quick. Grab a couple more bags. I really should have one to uh, see what's about that bulk buying silo. Just to see what's like. When it comes to the bulk buying silo, is it any uh, cheaper or more expensive than buying and by the bag in the shop? Because, you know, that is a pretty good deal depending on what game mode you're on. I said it is going to depend on what game mode. If you're on a more difficult game mode, then obviously you're not going to have quite as good a deal as I'm getting here. Okay, be a little bit careful there, don't we? Okay, pallets, mineral feed. Let's grab another two more of those. There we go. Whoop. And I pushed that one off the other side, didn't I? Oh, great. Okay, there we go. Hmm. I guess the straps are holding. I guess uh, it doesn't seem like anything's moving. We'll go with it. Oh, come on, tractor. That's well, actually quite uh, interesting down in the information screen. I'm looking at this. Uh, we got 144,000 liters of straw. Oh, uh, I wonder if that's why. Whoa, my... Okay, um... Well then, don't do that, everyone. Um, I think we broke it. Let's 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 uh, turn the straps. There we go. Okay, turn the straps back on. That seems to have done the trick. Whoops. Okay. Well, so much for those um, mineral pallets I loaded up. Everyone, uh, I'm not sure what part of the map they are scattered in now, but uh, that was definitely not supposed to happen. I don't think. And I might end up carrying this back home from the looks of it, everyone. I thought maybe what I could do, I could possibly, I wonder if I unload the bales, if that would reset, I don't know, do we dare unload the bales, Owen? Might end up with another explosion here. Yeah, I think it's definitely the uh, straw that's probably on it, but it's weighing this, wanging down. Uh, again, I mean, the game does take into consideration how much you have on here. And 144,000 liters of straw, when that's, uh, I got some weight to it. Although technically there's straw, so it really shouldn't be that heavy. Come on, tractor. Well, we could repair it, I suppose. To be honest, I don't think that's going to make much difference. No. Oh, actually, it does a little bit. Yeah. Never mind. Not really. Oh, here we go.
No, we're, we're going to turn that back on. <laughs> I thought I'd turn it off for just a second there, see what happens. That was, that was not a good thing. Nope, not good. Let's actually try this instead. Well, let's unload these here a minute. Unload bales. Then reload the bales. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. We'll just uh, leave it in that mode. I mean, that seems to work much, much better. Now we can actually drive. Then we'll go back through and pick up all our pallets that went exploding. Everyone. Now we had eight of these, everyone. Eh, we're going to be able to find them back. Four of them here. Yeah, sure. Interesting that they uh, tip back over. That's kind of cool. Okay, we got two more over here. Now, there should be... Uh, oh, wait, I see one on the other side of the trailer there. Yep, there's one over there. Not sure. There should be one more somewhere then. And what I might do, we'll just not turn the straps on, I think, everyone. I, th I think the pallets will stay up here as long as I get them somewhat stacked nicely. Oh, there's both of them. They're both over on this side. Yeah, I think they'll stay up there. Apparently, there must be something glitchy with this trailer when it comes to turning the straps on, at least with bales on it anyway. So, note to self, I'm going to don't turn the straps on that trailer on. Okay, we'll just uh, leave that like that. And unfortunately, it is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So on that note, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.